Attention viewer, you are watching the world's biggest Monster Truck Diecast YouTube channel. This is Monster Jam OCD. Monster Jam fans and welcome back to another Monster Jam OCD review video. Today we are reviewing a Hot Wheels Monster Truck set and these are the Blizzard Bashers from the 2020 holiday season. I know that I'm very late on reviewing these but I still wanted to get them out there just to give you guys some extra content in this week. Uh, so I want to thank first and foremost Brian Spaulding for sending these in for review and actually donating them to the collection. He's a great friend of mine and I really appreciate it, Brian. Here is the assortment of the Blizzard Bashers for this year. We have, of course, as usual, the Hot Wheels Delivery Walrus. So they're doing like an animal theme per truck, I guess. Um, kind of odd, but different. So Walrus, a Hot Wheels Delivery. So that's the first one. And then we have the 909, which is the typical name for a uh, extended cab pickup truck. So 909 Wolf. Uh, so a wolf right there. And then we have Torque Terror, which is the standard name for a single cab pickup truck. Uh, which is a snow owl. So there's that. The town hauler, which is the name for an SUV, uh, which is a polar bear. And then we have the podium crasher, which is the typical name for a uh, trophy truck, and it is a lynx. So there's that. And then the back of the packaging has all of those same trucks there. Um, and we're going to actually start with the Hot Wheels delivery today. So here's the packaging style for last year's Blizzard Bash. We have the render in the truck, Blizzard Bashers up there. Um, and it appears as a Hot Wheels logo with some snow down there and a Mattel logo. And then uh, the white uh, and bluish color Hot Wheels Monster Trucks logo. And then the back of the card here, uh, if you guys want to read those stats, you guys can. It's basically the stats for the Walrus edition of the truck. And uh, there's all that. So let's unbox it. The first one up is the Hot Wheels Delivery Walrus. And uh, there's a good shot of the rest of the card art. So we got that um, same Hot Wheels Monster Truck style background in snow form now and the walrus there with the Hot Wheels logo. So there's that. And here is the truck. There's the insert card piece. So it has a crushable car as the accessory, but these are kind of like a speckled car. So it's a really cool different idea that they have not done yet uh, right there. And um, just to kind of show you guys a demo of that, you just build the car there. And they're good for displays, but they're not really great for crushing. They're a little difficult to crush. Uh, so there is that. So a little white and blue speckled car. As usual, they kind of have this same theme every year where they do like a blue clear tire or rim choice or different kind of shades of blue and uh, clear. Uh, so this year they have the clear blue dark tires for this with clear blue dark rims um, right there. So I like those transparent pieces. They also have a solid uh, nice baby blue roll cage with a solid white chassis. Uh, so everything here looks really good in terms of holiday colors. And then the side here with the Walrus graphic, we have the Hot Wheels logo in the background, some snow, uh, Hot Wheels and Monster Trucks logos, and a giant Monster Trucks logos on the back. And then we have some snow. It has a blue window insert. It's hard to see, but uh, you can kind of see it through the front there. And then the roof has a Hot Wheels logo again uh, with some tusk marks. So that's really cool. Two tusk marks from his front teeth uh, also up here. And then some snow. Uh, really good grill wrap here with some snow as well. And it has like a pearlescent uh, paint finish on the inside here. So that nice like bluish color silver tone um, is like pearlescent. And then the same graphic just reversed on this side with the walrus. Uh, so, so this is the SUV casting. Again, if you guys want to read those stats, there they are. And let's open this up. Okay, so there's that. Um, there's the polar bear right there, that graphic. Really cool. And uh, there's the insert piece. And uh, it looks like they're going to be using the same crushable car each time. Uh, so there's that again. And here is the polar bear. So comparing to the Hot Wheels delivery, it has uh, lighter blue tires. So they are clear, transparent, lighter blue tires with solid white rims. A pearlescent dark uh, blue uh, roll cage, kind of like a sea blue with a solid white chassis. And then the side graphic here has a claw mark through a Hot Wheels logo, the polar bear graphic, some snow Hot Wheels monster trucks, uh, the front grille completely whited out, which looks really good. Uh, some more claw marks kind of crossing over each other on the hood, a blue windshield Hot Wheels logo continued up to the roof with a lot of claw marks, some uh, paw prints, and then um, monster trucks logo with the snow again and the same graphic just reversed on this side. And next up is the Snow Owl, which is the Torque Terror or single cab casting for Hot Wheels Moss Trucks. And there is that Snow Owl graphic. Okay, so uh, this one's uh, a little different. Actually, it has a van here with some dark blue speckles inside of it. So that's cool. 
and there's the insert. Um, I like transparent parts more than I like the pearlescent parts. I think last year, or last last year in 2019, they did uh, pearlescent tires, and I just wasn't a big fan of them. Uh, I like when they do the transparent ones, but I like how they're doing a mashup of both in this year. So I'll give them credit for that. But this has like a pearlescent uh, white tire uh, with a solid light blue rim, with a solid uh, light blue chassis as well, or roll cater, I mean, and a uh, white chassis. Uh, so the Snow Owl graphics are kind of, you know, not the best ones out of the fleet, but there's the Snow Owl. We have the Monstrux logo. Uh, this side has the front grille in white with a Hot Wheels logo. I do like the paint color, though. Uh, that's really cool. And uh, there's the roof and the tailgate, Monstrux again. And this side, the same stuff going on. So, again, not the most exciting out of the fleet because it doesn't have much printing area, but uh, there is the Snow Owl. And next up is the Podium Crasher or the Trophy Truck Lynx Truck. Um, and there's the stats for that. I also forgot to show you if you guys are interested in reading them. Uh, there's the stats for the Snow Owl. So, here we go. The Lynx Monster Truck Podium Crasher. And uh, there's the Lynx uh, card art. And then we have that. And that same blue van with the speckles again in it. And here it is, uh, the Lynx. So this has the same chassis as the last one we just reviewed, which was the uh, Snow Owl. So I'm going to say it's not my favorite setup again because the pearlescent tires and stuff. But uh, there is that same chassis setup. The Lynx graphics, however, are really nice. I love the spots on the side here. Uh, the graphic itself of the Lynx is very well illustrated. And we got some claw marks, the Hot Wheels logo, uh, white grill. Uh, really cool Hot Wheels logo continued up the roof there with a blue windshield. Uh, lots of little scratch marks and snow. And this side, same stuff going on with the Monster Trucks logo. Lots of detail in the tailgate there. It looks good. With a uh, metal flake uh, light blue paint color. So it's a little different than the other ones have been. So I like this one. I do like that. I just don't love the uh, wheels and uh, rim choice. So there is the Lynx. And this has to be my favorite paint color and I'll show you why. And there's the stats for the 909. So let's go. Here we go. Unboxing it. There's the graphic for the Wolf. And uh, there's the insert card. And then it has that same original white card that we saw at the beginning of the review. So there's that. And here is the truck. So Comparing it to all the different trucks we saw today in terms of the tires, um, this is using these tires from the uh, Polar Bear and these rims from the Walrus. So the reason why I'm knocking these two so hard is because they're the exact same, whereas these are kind of all different mashups of them. Uh, so I feel like they could have done maybe some different rims or different tires for this specific truck just to set them out. So the whole fleet's different. But uh, that's the only reason I mentioned that so many times. So anyway, continuing on, here is the Wolf. I love the tire choice over these dark blue rims. It looks really good. Um, the kind of semi-transparent chassis as well looks good with the blue and white chassis. So they all have the same chassis, but everything besides those two have been differentiated. Uh, and then we have a beautiful dark blue metal flake color for the paint. I love this paint color. Um, the graphics look really good too. I love the snarling wolf here with the snow, uh, some claw marks, the uh, Hot Wheels logo, and also there the Monstrux logo. Really good printing or paint and printing on the grill. Uh, there's the Hot Wheels logo continuing up there. Lots of little details, paw prints, and everything going on there. So anyway, that will wrap up this review of the 2020 Blizzard Bashers by Hot Wheels Monster Trucks. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and thank you again to Brian for sending these in for review. If you guys haven't already, subscribed to the channel and like this video. It helps me a ton, and I appreciate all your support, and I will see you guys in the next video. This is Ryan or Monster Mo CD signing out.